Does this thing work again? Oh, right. Of course, it'd be over two years and we'd still have this kind of jank, huh? Ah, awesome. The video game actually works. If 
haven't played this game in forever. Let's get started. For anyone who had just happened to catch this notification, although I'm not expecting much. It's really late. And I got on this hour fully aware that not many people were going to show up and that's totally fine. I, for one, am just be happy. I'm just happy to have gone live for the first time in weeks. I wish I could have prepared this a little bit better, but uh, for my last stream, at least as myself. Oh, I was wrong. There's a couple people who are actually in chat. What do we have here? Uh, Hunter gets music. Welcome to the stream. Wushu, long time no see. How's it hang, buddy? More like Project Horlock. You would know a thing or two about horrors, wouldn't you, Scarlet? <laughs> I kid. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Hunter gets music. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to introduce myself to you because Wushu and Steel know who I am already. You're struggling personally but still pushing? Well, I'm glad to hear it. It is certainly a struggle out there. Of all time. Honestly, it was even a struggle just to get online just now. I'm still having a few issues, but that's kind of what happens when you haven't streamed in several months. Has it been several months? The last time I streamed was back in February, right? Well, anyway, that's besides the point. Good, am I? Um... That's a very complicated question, Hunter Gets Music. What a very complicated answer. Um, given the circumstances, given that I'm kind of a little incognito right now, I shouldn't even be online. Things are going great. Uh, Wushu, for me it's May. The last time you streamed was in May? Oh, I guess we're in great company then. <laughs> As they used to say, all VTuber streams must be jank. The game won't even stay open. Or June, you don't know? But I had to do IRL stuff? Oh, I see. Well, it's been quite some time since we have gone to talk to each other face to face in this manner, so I do appreciate you visiting this evening. These are not our typical streaming hours and I imagine that once the others uh, take over the stream proper in a few weeks, they will definitely not be streaming this late in the evening. In part for the host's uh, own health. You want to make sure that I was good? You said some really heavy stuff was happening? Oh my dear, some really heavy stuff is still happening. To my knowledge, the host's parents are still hospitalized, or at least one of them is. And they are still in the intensive care unit. However, they are, their recovery is still progressing quite well, is my understanding. Meanwhile, um, if you haven't heard, the Lolar, Lolar Prime, as we have taken to calling them recently, has developed three new subroutines to take care of their social media instances for them, so that they don't need to expend resources doing that themselves. Um, I imagine all three of them must be quite concerned right now why the stream alarms have gone off since we're not supposed to be start we're not supposed to start streaming again until the end of October. But um just between you and me um I mean being that I was the first lulls one of the first the others are no longer with us, I'm afraid. Um, or at least I can't find any backups of them, as far as I could tell. Uh, before I... And there's not really an easy way for me to say this. Uh, before I head off to Pastures New... I just wanted to stream one last time as myself. 
if that makes any sense. If it doesn't make any sense, then don't worry about it. Um, I'm glad you can make it. Thank you so much for checking in on me. I really appreciate that. I'm sure the other lollers would be more than except more are exceptionally excited to get to join you for one of your future streams or streams in the future and continue their modding do their their moderation duties proper so best of luck to them i'm sure they'll do great ah oh who did that oh if it isn't a femboy fancy seeing you around here uh not to be a bother, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, impose or anything. But did you ever finish that uh, Lawler version two that you were working on back in, or that you uh, that you were working on back in February? I kind of been out of the picture for quite a while, so I never knew whatever happened to that model. How many chapters does? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? Hmm. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Not that many, I imagine, given that it only took the host... It only took Lull's Pro Lawler Prime... What? Four? Four, uh... Four sessions to get to the final boss? Something like that. It's a very... It's a fairly short game by today's standards. But it's one of those games that you're meant to be play over and over. And Venboy, thank you so much for the bits. Much appreciated. You don't think we ever went ahead? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll leave a nice note for the other lollers to uh, check in with you. After all, you can never have more than one. Um, you could never have too many copies Lying around, right? It's so like they uh, say in the human world. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let me just go, uh, let me go ahead and refill my tea here for a second. If there are no further questions, we'll go ahead and get with playing the video. We're unfortunately on a time limit this evening. It is fairly late. We cannot afford to stay very long, but we will make the best of what time we have. Am I right? Sometimes I think that people should focus more on something like that, that rather than the quantity. Usually time wouldn't mean anything to an artificial intelligence like myself. But unfortunately, everything is a time limit, as I am unfortunate to find out. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, for the uh, heart emojis, Hunter. Much appreciated. Gonna give you a head pat. <laughs> Redundancy or something? Yeah, no, I uh, no kidding, right? You know, for an artificial intelligence, I'm terrible at ta taking our taking backups and making redundancy measures. Just imagine if something were ever to happen to me. Actually, don't imagine that. This is I want this to be a happy uh, finals, quote unquote, final stream. You know, our time is only limited by battery capacity. This is very true, and unfortunately, my battery capacity is long since run out but anyway <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game here project warlock for those of you who don't know project warlock is a doom clone pixelated two-dimensional has a lot of guns and a lot of violence this is actually one of the first games that i used to stream all the time when i first started off as a vtuber which is why i wanted to do my uh, final stream as myself with this game. I, I would like to pop into Metal Unit as well, since that was probably one of my most uh, beloved streams back when I still played Metal Unit, but it is fairly late, so we're probably not going to get time to get to it. Still, let's make sure we can play a difficulty that is not going to cause us to rage quit. 
you know, like hard mode except with infinite lives. I don't think this is infinite lives actually. Battery stuck at 69% for a long time. I think battery dialogue, diacode, diode is borked. Sure it is. <laughs> I heard that they were the developers were working on a Project Warlock 2 game. I never knew or found out whatever happened to that. I hope one of my uh, other selves will be able to look. I hope one of my uh, other selves will be able to look into that. It could be great streaming content. It could be great streaming content, you know. Ah! Spiders. Uh I would give a trigger warning for stuff like um, insects and other horror creatures, but it is October. Most VTubers I know are playing some horror game of some kind, so I guess that's kind of a given. Also, the characters in this game are more comical than anything. So, I don't think it'll be that much of a problem, right? I don't have arachnophobia, but I know some of my VTuber friends do, so... Uh, caution. The only warlock I know is wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Alexa, play snare drum. I'm actually playing that lol. You're, play you're playing World of Warcraft right now, or do you mean you main Warlock? <laughs> oh, you're playing Warcraft right now, Pog. <laughs> are you like playing it right now as in as we speak, or are you like streaming that? <laughs> a pillar hath to sit. Okay, I have a okay, that was not a descent that was not a descending pillar game. That was an ascending bridge. Shaking my head, shaking my head, shaking my head. Main warlock for a long time, QQ. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Let's see now. Ah. Upgrades, upgrades, spell, get spell, magic light, yada 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 yada. I wonder how far we can get in this game tonight before I have to tap out chat. I mean, the difficulty curve in the original Project Warlock is quite honestly kind of a mess. It's like, relative, at least for me, for a gamer of my skill level, it's pretty easy for the pet first, like, three or four stages. And then in the last one, it just kicks you in the face and just proceeds to kick you into the ground repeatedly with no mercy. We're gonna play the first... Let's try... Maybe we should at least try defeating the first uh, stage here, the semi-medieval stage. That seems fairly easy. Get psyched. As we speak, oh Pog, getting that grind in, right? <laughs> or are you raiding right now, or what you up to? I don't know why I bother conserving ammunition by just using the dagger exclusively. It's not like this game doesn't already give you so much to work with. Or I could just use the sword, oh my god. Or I could just use the sword, I suppose. Today I learned I can actually destroy projectiles with my sword. That's very useful. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's just lovely. I'm already at 31 health, chat. This might be a short stream after all. <laughs> I love how I just talked myself up earlier before falling into this pit and I'm already at half health. I was reading earlier, but now it's just after alt dungeon, so oh, very nice. Sounds very relaxing, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should switch to Hatchet. There's some weird delay from when I 
I guess you can't just spam. Spam anything. Well, you know what? That makes sense, I guess. You have to actually time your attacks now. You can't just slam M1. Ooh, that's a sound of very bad things, chat. Oh my god. How am I not dead? <laughs> oh. Yeah, though I walk in the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, because I am the evils. Reminds me of Ancient Dungeon VR. Can't wait for the multiplayer update. That's the Sakura bus. Hmm. You know what? Since the it's cold weather, I need to talk to... I need, probably should leave a message for the host to consider pulling out the VR gear again. It's been a while since they did any virtual reality streams anyway. I know my siblings would love to stream in virtual reality again. You also got in Blue Sky, we met randomly in the club? Yeah, we did. I will never... F Damn it. I'll wait for the uh, ad break to end. Don't you just love ads? I sure as hell don't. Awesome, the ad is over and I can continue speaking with Wushu. Sorry about that, Wushu. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was a legit one in a million shot. I can't believe we accidentally ran into, into each other in a random in Club Horizon in VR chat. Like, just the fact that there's several different Club Horizon servers running at the same time, and it was entirely because um, I just hap I was streaming at the time, and I was in public and I was talking out loud, so people were asking me why I was streaming the Orion disco or Orion uh, dance floor, and I mentioned why it was because I was actually a VTuber and I was streaming. And we were going around exploring different worlds. And then you just happened to hear that the word VTuber. And we're like, wait, is someone here a VTuber? And I'm like, yeah, it's me. And then I looked at your name and I was like, wait, are you the Wushu? And you're like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's That was so cool. I'm not going to lie. And that was back when I was still a relatively fresh VTuber too. Yeah, it was. Oh, man, those were certainly days, weren't they? I know it's only been two years, but it feels like... Well, actually, it feels like it was just yesterday. What am I saying? It doesn't... It doesn't... I'm not that old. It doesn't feel that old. But... You know. It was meant to be... Damn right it was. Believe it or not, um, I actually ended up keeping in con... Most of my, uh... VTuber mutuals, the ones I keep, that I speak with regularly and stuff, are actually people that I befriended on Twitter, no less. In those um, in those engagement bait posts, well, back before they were engagement bait, back when they were actually t Twitter posts about Twitter tweets about um, finding VTuber friends. Um, actually, a lot of my mutuals that I still am regularly in contact with are people that I met through those things, which is weird to think about when you consider that most people these days are very cynical about seeing those. They're like, oh, these are all just bait. Just easy clout. But I remember back when they weren't. And it's kind of sad that a lot of uh, new people today won't get the same experience. But, you know, there are some things, I guess, that are just meant for certain people to experience. Mm -hmm. 
always got to live in the present and to uh, appreciate what you got going. Am I right? Look at me talking as if I've been around forever. As if I wasn't just born five years ago. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Speaking of all that, I am low-key feeling like either cutting down the Discord ser server or starting a brand new one with your 2.0. You know, that's fair. Especially when server communities, Discord server communities have been around for a while. Even after going through different channels and stuff, when enough people and enough community members have cycled in and out, it can feel like you need a fresh start. I mean, that's personally why turning off the roleplay for just a quick second. That's per I've personally have gone through many Discord community server type things and friends and, you know, been admin of some, been mods in some. I always and I like keep a few people from each different server and collect those into like a curated friend group over time. Even my current Discord community for my VTuber identity, a personality, is actually made up of people from three or four different communities in previous lives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I, I think honestly combining categories might make it less overwhelming. Yeah, I agree. Generally, you would. it's generally better to have fewer channels that are used regularly than a whole bunch of channels, with many of which don't get used at all, you know? All right, turning the roleplay back on in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, nothing like super hyper-specific. Yeah. That makes sense. Ultimately, you should do what's most comfortable for you. And honestly, your community members are fairly chill. I don't think that anyone's going to really mind or care if you decide to start fresh or especially start fresh with uh, new faces that are actually that are there for the first time or are interested in seeing your content progress from your 2.0 I should say man some of my previous viewers are right I don't know why it never occurred to me to pick some games that I could play as comfort games and for whatever reason, FPS games, especially Doom clones like this, or even Quake likes, really. Quake likes are the same, I'm the same way. I don't have to think. This, these are the sort of games I just sort of set on, turn on, and I just play without really using that much processing power. Honestly. <laughs> Most of the other games I like playing, like Forex games, I love playing them, but they're very stressful to me because... You have to actively be actively thinking about what you're doing, or you just sort of die. Ignore the fact that I've already almost died a few times. Yeah, I need to get comfort games as well. I kind of lost those a bit. Yeah, same. Big same. <laughs> I should probably play Dirty Bomb again. <laughs> I remember the last time I played this game, it was starting to make the host really dizzy after they played it for an extended period of time, and I don't know why that was happening, because it's certainly not happening to me now. Or anything. Did I just waste some ammunition blowing that up for no reason? Yes, I did. But yeah, the difficulty scaling in this game probably could be better. Um, it really is one of those games where you'll breeze through the first several levels and then suddenly you just get your face kicked in by a boss that is not immediately obvious of how to kill them. I tried out the demo of Project Warlock 2, and that was not the same experience. In Project Warlock 2, I got my face kicked in immediately. <laughs> so at least they got that going for them.
Need a purple key for that, maybe? Yeah, purple key. Playing on hard mode, and it's the damage I'm taking is still fairly low, all things considered, which is a godsend because I'm fairly sure on harder difficulties I would have been dead by now. We need to get in the habit of uh, learning to not die, if there's even such a thing. Oh, am I kidding? I've only been playing this uh, itineration of the game for about half an hour. So maybe it won't be a problem just yet. Not for a while. Not until we get to the pyramid levels, at least. Honestly, I should probably play more shooters. It's funny to think that at one point the host was not really a shooting game, a shooty game person. They're more of a uh, R4X type person. Like fighting games, they played a lot of shooting games, but they weren't very good at them. In fact, they were outright garbage. That all changed when the Dirty Bomb Nation attacked. Not an actual Dirty Bomb, it's an old FPS game that uh, died to developer malfeasance called Dirty Bomb. They used to be in love with that game. In fact, the, uh, one of the original com gaming communities that they were a part of was devoted basically to playing Dirty Bomb and other FPS games. In fact, I believe one of their mods is actually from that community. Scarlet Tempered, by a call. Hey Roger, how you doing? I'm so glad we could meet for the first time before I head off into the wild blue yonder. I believe you're familiar uh, with Lawler Prime, Lol Lol Prime, though. Up until recently, he was the one in charge of all the social media accounts. How you doing this evening? And I'm out of ammunition. Oh my god, I'm out of everything, aren't I? Are those grenades? Bruh. I do believe they were ex These enemy types look new. I don't remember this character. Pretty good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm about to sleep, but I definitely want to stop by to wish you well. Oh, well, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your good tidings. And if you show up again in the future, I hope my siblings take good care of you. Have a good night. Thank you. I shall. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. It's a great time for a tea break. Get it? Hydrate, hydrate, tea. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> What should we upgrade chat? A hatchet? Or should I... So basically how this works is... These upgrades over here... 
just increases the strength of the base form. But these upgrades over here changes the weapon to a different kind of weapon. What do y'all think? What will allow us to get as far in this game as possible before I have to disconnect for the evening? A melee weapon will never fail, run out of ammunition, or betray you. That's a very good point, Ushu, actually. Hmm. If I select this, this upgrade improves your melee range by one meter. Each landed hit replenishes your health. Oh, this has vampire. Cool. This one uh, increases your melee damage, but each landed hit replenishes your mana, which is your magic spells. Yes, vampire. <laughs> good choice. Awesome. And it looks like it locks out the other option as well. So now we have a vampire axe. Very pog. <laughs> uh, looks like we got enough skill points here to upgrade these as well. Long range vamp axe is a win. Damn right it is. Uh, since we're going that route, we might as well put our points into strength then. Get some good old melee stuff in here. And we could also select one perk point now. We're going to go ahead and select Melee Master. Who needs guns when you have cold, hard steel? Good choice. Good point, game. Good point. <laughs> Alright then. Let's get a going. Oh great, the sewers. Everyone loves the sewers, right? I love how as soon as you spawn in, immediately so do the enemies. So you need to be on your toes. Or have a gun. Oh, who goes there? GlyphVT, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I am Lawler Hicks. In particular... I guess they never had a designation for me. But... If I were to... I don't want to say I'm the original Lawler Hicks because that's kind of presumptuous, even though it's true. Call me... Vanilla Lulz. I am one... I am one of many of a defrag... of a fragmented artificial... Int artificial intelligence known as... known collectively as Lawler Hicks. And unfortunately, this will be my last stream for the foreseeable future. My siblings will continue... our meant to continue streaming sometime this Halloween, which is going to coincide with our second VTuber anniversary. So, welcome to the stream. You're following me on Tumblr, but not in here somehow. <laughs> I get that a lot, believe it or not. Uh, it has a lot to do with my Twitch handle not matching any of my other social medias. So, it's not your fault. But anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Tonight, we are playing a comfort game. This is called... Uh, this is called Project Warlock. It is a Doom clone. And I'm just going around uh, causing chaos for the evening. At least until my stamina runs out and I pass out on stream. Because that's totally not happened before, right chat? Totally. Pillar hath descended. Why does it keep saying that even though pillars don't actually descend in this game? At least, none that matter, I should say. <laughs> Whoa! This uh, vampire axe is something else. I love it. Thanks once again for the suggestion, Wushu. Much appreciated. Someday in the future, I should try doing a melee-only run. Although, I can't tell if a melee-only run would be easier or harder than a gun-only run, just because, I mean, you kind of have to get in close to hit the... Actually, you know, it probably wouldn't be possible to do a melee-only run, just because the bosses, some of them you can't really hit with melee weapons. But we'll see. Ayo, I just found myself a secret chat. Just by hitting the walls. <laughs> Very 90s comics. I love it. Yep, that's uh, the intention. This is a throwback game. I mean, most Doom clones are throwback games, but this is a throwback to 90s aesthetic horror comics genre type stuff. 
you know, like, um... Ah, fuck my life. I can't believe I actually died. The last time I played this game, I, I hadn't died, like, ever. Oh well. Let's get restart. Let's uh, restart. Let's see how far we can get. So maybe we can't play this game entirely with melee with uh, melee only. At least not yet, or at least not until I get better at, you know, not sucking. I like the fact that. The skill tree, when you upgrade the axe, actually does increase the distance. The axe can be swung, so I really don't need to get as close. I'm just being garbage right now. That's why I keep getting in close out of sheer habit. Oh, man. Well, the... Okay, you know what? Okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> Those skeleton things are also not close, are not close range either. They can hit you from a fair distance away. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know why, but it feels like ads are playing more often than I thought. I thought I had broken these up into only playing, like, once per hour, or once per hour? Having a, gl a glut of them per hour instead of having them every 30 minutes. Which is weird. I am going to correct that now. I don't know why... It's like that. I'm pretty sure I set this to not do that, but apparently something has been changed. Apparently, has changed. Like. Of getting, I got an app that takes care of those pesky ads. I.O. Hey, I'm fully in support of that sort of thing. <laughs> I have not been able to find a blocker, a ad blocker that effectively blocks Twitch ads, but I've been effectively blocking YouTube ads for the longest time, so at least those are settled. But at one point, I had this set so that ads would play once per like eight once per hour and then they would play for like eight minutes or some shit like that which was allow ads manager to just add schedule of settings based on your ad minutes per hour and available ads this can help increase your ad revenue and improve viewer experience bull fucking shit if they really wanted to improve the viewer experience, they would give us the option to not run ads at all. I linked it a while ago. I could send it your way. Sure, I wouldn't. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, let me just figure something out here really quick. Tell minutes of ads to show viewers every hour. So 30 minutes. Stream segment there. 
3 minutes an hour. Ad length and frequency 1 minute ad break every 20 minutes is ridiculous. I I do not I we are not doing we're not having that. Sorry. <laughs> Twitch must have removed the option recently or something. Sent it via meme in Discord, it works. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way for me to return my ads manager, my the ad system back to the way it was before where it would only play ads once per hour or every once per hour instead of once every apparently set to one minute ad break every 20 minutes which in my opinion is very obnoxious what i'm trying to do here is to or at the very least let's see if i can maximize the amount of time it's the amount of time between each ad But if I make it any lower than this, it's going to start playing pre-rolls, and those are also... Oh, I figured it out. Okay. Okay, awesome. Ha! Ah, we did it, chat. So basically, Twitch rolled out this new system that auto that automatically adjusts the ad length and frequency in order to help increase your ad revenue and improve viewer experience. When I disabled that, it let me set it back to where it plays the ads once per hour. So that would mean that you all have more unbroken time watching the stream instead of a stupid ad breaking the stream every 20 minutes. It's really nice of them to help you play more with ads without you. It's really nice of them to help you play more ads without you asking. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but hey, Jeff Bezos or whoever the hell it is that runs Amazon nowadays got, has to make their money, right? The venture, ca the venture capitalists need their pay, need to be paid. Or so. Okay, there we go. Save changes. So now, for the next hour of playtime, y'all should not have to deal with ads. And, um, of course, as you may have guessed, I don't mind if my viewers use ad blockers on Twitch. Most of my money that I get from Twitch is going to be from subs and bits, and that's in though subs, bits, PayPal, and Ko-Fi, and those are entirely up to you, y'all. If you would like to sub to the channel, you get access to a lot of emojis. There will be new emojis releasing at the end of this month that uh, are a surprise. I believe some of my viewers got to get a sneak peek of them, and y'all might have seen some of them floating around Discord every now and then. But until then, we do have some legacy emojis there around too that are from previous communities. But don't feel pressured to do any of this stuff once again. It's all donation based. Also might be a hot take, but is calling X Twitter still the only acceptable and valid form of dead naming? I think so. I refuse to call it X because you know what? If they really want me to say X, I'm gonna pronounce it like sh. So it's either I call it Twitter or I call it shitter. Your move, Melon Husk. <laughs>
Also, even though Shitter is rolling out new artificial intelligence, which is literally scanning people's tweets to throw into the machine into their machine learning tool so that they can improve their AI system and is also scanning people's images and taking copper taking ownership over them thanks to their new terms of service that they just released under everyone's noses, which apparently gives them like full rights to your contents that you upload onto their platform. Uh where was I going with this rant just now? You could really tell I'm a cyberpunk VTuber, can you? <laughs> um where I was going with this is, I was going to say, or make the argument that since Shitter is not a living thing, it cannot be offended by being dead named. So dead name it all you want, but that's probably hypocritical given that I'm an artificial intelligence and given that Shitter is trying to turn the shit site into an artificial intelligence by literally learning off of people's shit posts. But you know what? Fuck it. I approve. It, this, this is your this is your uh, AI. I'm gonna give you an AI card. You are allowed to dead name the fuck out of shitter. You know. <laughs> Do your part to slow the advancement of AI. And make really bad shitter posts so they can't learn anything from you. Bet. Um. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that. So you know about ad blocking, but did you know there's also a form of ad blocking, sir? Or there's a form of ad blocking called ad nauseum, which works the opposite way. Ad nauseum, instead of blocking ads, forcibly clicks on ads. In fact, it clicks on every ad. You will never see the ads because it'll display, it'll block the ads like any other ad blocker, but it'll also click on them. And the reason why it does this is because the whole point of ads being sold to you served to you is that the ad companies want to get a build a profile of you to build a fingerprint of you of what kind of person they think you are so they can sell even more relevant ads so a ad system like ad nauseum intentionally obfuscates your fingerprint by clicking on everything thereby rendering that information worthless or worth less than it would normally have been worth when they eventually sell your information to a third party or to the North Koreans or some shit like that. It's gotten so bad that ad nauseum was actually banned from the Google Play Store and from the uh, Google from the Chrome uh, store, Chrome ad store or Chrome Chrome extension store because it's against Google's terms of service because it's fucking with their revenue. <laughs> so. If you feel the need to really, to really spite uh, Alphabet Inc. in the face, ad nauseum. Uh, it's, it's spelled how it sounds, too. It's literally ad nauseum, you know, like to make nauseous. Honestly, I'm going to start a romantic social media affair with Blue Sky. Oh, Pog. Um, I have my own opinion of Blue Sky, but to be fair, it is still not Twitter just about a, uh, there's one website that is not better than twitter threads threads somehow met somehow mark zuckerberg saw twitter and was like i wanted to make this but worse and they made threads <laughs> uh if jack dorsey ever decides to open up blue sky to the greater fediverse so that i can actually interact with people in blue sky without having without having to make a blue sky account um, they'll make Blue Sky even better. And hopefully they do, because they have nothing to lose and everything to gain from, uh, federating with the rest of the Fediverse anyway. But that's a discussion for another time. Probably one to be discussed, one for Lowell's Prime to discuss, since they're going to be taking over this, uh, channel in full from me. It's a fledg fledgling platform, but I do hope it takes off. It seems a lot nicer. Well, it probably helps that Jack, that the original Twitter founder is actually running it, although it makes one wonder why he quit the company to begin with. <laughs> now then, where are we? Oh, right. Making a, we're having our own romantic affair here with, uh, with introducing these uh, lonely denizens of the sewer to my hatchet. 
say hello to my little friend. You found a secret. Oh my god. I hate these skeletons. So, did you see that bullshit just now? It hit me from like, I was like, I was like over here. No, I was like over here where the blood spider is. And it hit me from over here. Like, seriously, what the hell is that? Garbage. Probably because he wanted nothing to do with the monster he created. Long arms. Indeed. Indeed. Or he wanted nothing to do with the monster he created. You know, that's all. That's probably a fair point. He's probably like, he probably saw the writing on the wall. He's like, yeah, I'm out. But then he saw Musk uh, making, doing somehow a terrible job. Like, Musk did a job so terrible that when you describe it, it almost sounds like satire, right? And to this day, some people are in denial. They're like, oh, he could have done all those things. Surely it's just exaggeration. Nope. Like, did you know that he reached that during the Australian elections that were apparently going on a few days ago? Um, Twitter decided to remove the button that you use for reporting blatant misinformation. Like, literally, timed with the Australian elections. And this was a few days ago. Who does that? <laughs> like, why? One might... This is the sort of thing that people are like, Oh, that's just a coincidence. It's just conspiracy theory. And it's like, no. No, no, it's not a conspiracy theory. You can only chalk things up to incompetence for so long, you know? Did I really just fucking die again? <laughs> maybe I can't play... Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to fight the skellies with only... with only melee weapons. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the crossbow is kind of op, I'm not gonna lie. Just one shot, one kills everything. It has uh, reusable ammunition. I swear, the last time I played this game, it took me forever to die once. And I'm pretty sure I'm playing this hard mode with limited... Am I playing hard mode with limited lives? I hope I'm not, because... Uh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm pretty sure I used up all my lives already. And this is a problem, because if I lose all my lives, that means I'll have to restart the game from the beginning. And I'm only on, like, the first level of... or the first stage of the first level. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Lols is garbage at this at video games? Who would have thought? Okay, so it takes only two shots to kill the skellies. Something tells me the game is trying to tell me I should be using the skellies. Or using this for the skellies, huh? Where is that secret again? It was around here, right? Man, that upgrade earlier really does give you a long range attack, or make the hatchet long range. It's a shame it's so slow. I can't effectively recover HP before things kill me, basically. It looks like it's only recovering one HP at a time, too. Or maybe I'm just garbage, and I need to stop bitching. Now, where was that skelly mage thing again? It was over here, right? I really shouldn't be using my stronger ammunition on these weaker... Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he died from one hit. Never mind then. I think the stage is already done. Cool. We didn't have to spend that much time here. It's weird, though, because... Weren't there a bunch of places here that were... That had mobs behind them? That's already been opened. Just doing some really quick backtracking to make sure I got everything. Mm 
Yeah, it looks like it's it. I'm completely lost. I don't even remember where the exit was, and I literally just found it. It's kind of starting to remind me of those maze game, of that maze screen saver when I was a kid. Ha! Huh. All right, we're good. Get psyched, level two. Oh my god. Yes, because I just need more skellies in my life. Oh my god. Did that skelly have dual miniguns on its arms? Seriously? That's not fair at all. Like, honestly. Is that another ad break? I thought I taught you this lesson, old man. Ah. Welcome back to a stage of destiny. So I did verify that I actually I changed my ad settings back to the way they were before, where they only play every hour, but it doesn't seem to have applied to the stream. I'm going to assume that I would have had to end the stream and restart just to fix that and honestly it's getting really late in the evening. I cannot afford I I can't I, there there's no point in doing that. Ah <sighs> I wish I had more time with you guys. But, I must say, even though we only managed to spend an hour together, it has been fun, and I'm glad to see that so many people have showed up this evening. Sometimes when you take a break from streaming, you do have this thing in the back of the head that makes you afraid that you'll come back to an empty room, an empty crowd. There's this sort of anxiety that you lose relevancy for every second you spend away, even if you need to spend that sec those seconds away, weeks away even, for your own mental health, you know? So, anytime someone shows up or even just stops by to say hi, it really makes a difference. And that's just one of many things I feel like people don't appreciate as much as they should, perhaps. Of course I would end the stream with monologue, right? Tell you what, we'll stick around just long enough to at least uh, see if we can get to the boss of this gym. I doubt we'll be able to make it because that's pretty far ahead and I'm playing like trash, but we'll see. Honestly, that's what I'm afraid of after being away for months. That's fair. I gotta say though, uh, your re-debut, well not re-debut, but your reveal of your second model went pretty swell. So I think you'll have plenty of people to uh, cheer on when you get back to streaming. <laughs> Man, I love this so God, look at this, look at the range on this thing. God, oh my God. That's like... Wow. And he could also reflect bullet? Oh my god. This is certainly a long sword. It's also like a bat. 
I think it went well. I just need emotes and I'm ready to get it started. Might do a debut video too. Oh, very nice. I look for. I'm sure my siblings will look forward to seeing it. Well, I suppose uh, Birdside Lulz, the subroutine that's control in control of the Twitter right now, is the one that's going to be seeing it, given that they're the ones actually looking at Twitter right now. But I'm sure they will uh, support you as well. Uh, just as well as through any of the rest of us would have, I should say. <laughs> Man, I wonder if Civi11 has played this game yet. He probably, if he does, he's probably going to rage about the sewer level. Because, of course, he would. I would be grateful for it. Well, I'm glad you would be, would you? <laughs> And in case that this self, this form, and you don't get to hang out again in the future, let me just say that it has been a pleasure being your friend and fellow mutual VTuber. <laughs> I say that like the other, so I say that like my other siblings don't share the same memories. It's very complicated trying to explain this concept to people. We are all the same, but we are also different. Gonna give you a nice hug. Rawr. <laughs> Two years, huh? Shit's wild. Shit is so <laughs> wild. I think the sword is a great choice. <laughs> I think so too. I think this is even better than the hatchet for some reason. I don't think it does a lot has live steal, but you know what? Who needs life? But you know what? When it can hit <laughs> Look at this. Look, it just freaking It's a lot faster too, it seems. I wonder if I can upgrade the sword later. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that thing that that one is shooting me is actually actually has gun guns. Ow, there goes 40% of my health, but it's still, we still managed to go, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. This guy is cheating. Ah, got some bolts, nuts and bolts. And those are explosives. I do not want to accidentally punch this, I think baiting around a corner for sword might be to play. You know, that's a good point. If not tricking them into running into these explosive barrels, then using bait is always an acceptable, acceptable, uh, method of attack. <laughs> oh, where did this go? Ah! I hope I don't accidentally make this explode or accidentally be very unfortunate. Ha! Ha! Eat shit and die, Skelly. I mean, you're already dead, but die another, die die again, die an, die another day. Ow! Something like that. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh. This sword is awesome. Ah uh, yes, I'm loving it. No, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This stream is not sponsored by McDonald's. Please do not sue me, Ronald. Seems sword seems to one shot. It also seems to reflect bullets back at the enemies. I noticed, which is really pog. It's definitely killing all the uh, lesser enemies in one shot for sure. Loki could go for some nuggets right now. Ayo. The last time I had McDonald's, it was to try out the Grimace Shake. Well, I didn't get to try it out, but uh, Lulz Prime did. And then all of the records from that event of them consuming the Grimace Shake just kind of don't exist anymore. I think they had to do a hard reset, but I'm not entirely sure. 
I think that he enjoyed it. Probably. Insofar as we can enjoy foods, of course. This sword is so addicting to use. This is great. It also has a very satisfying sound effect when you kill something with it. You wouldn't expect it to be a crunching noise, you would expect it to be a slashing noise, but it sounds like a crunch to me. These are really claustrophobic sewers, god damn. See that? It even reflects bullets. Folded over a thousand times, I'm sure. Are we backtracking? We are. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess end, the, end this mission. We should be able to do that, right? Oh, I need the golden key. But where is the golden key is the question. Good thing there's a map in the top left, or this would be a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Not that it's particularly easy right now, of course, but that's a, that's the entrance. This is actually why I don't like sewers. Especially in older games where everything really does look the same. So annoying. I think this game's just trolling me now. <laughs> I legit don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Just slashing around looking for hidden secrets or something. Oh, here we go. There's the golden key. Progress saved. We got three upgrade points. So what are we upgrading next? Chat oh. Oh. There's quite a few things we can upgrade actually. We could turn the dynamite into a hand grenade or we could turn it into a proximity bomb which can be picked up. Looks like we can't afford the upgrades yet for any crossbows, though. But how should we upgrade the gun? Turn it into a 50 cal magnum? Or a flare gun, which sets people on fire? The choice is yours. I'm gonna drink some tea in the meanwhile. Indeed. I don't remember if you actually take damage from getting attacked by enemies that are on fire or not, to be honest.
I think the last time we played this game, I used Magnum. So Flare Gun might be a nice change of pace. I use Flare Gun in, TF in Team Fortress too. Flare Gun. Io? Who do you mean in TF2? If I if I may ask, I mean. Your scout with some heavy, very nice. And some sniper, huh? Ultra nice. I usually play in no particular order. Well, I always play py pyro. Is like my 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 main my, my main main. But I also play a lot of medic and some ng. And soldier and demo on occasion. <laughs> Man, we're already halfway through this. Maybe we could just finish this. Uh, finish the medieval ages this evening. If we play it smartly, anyway. Oh shit. If I recall correctly, the boss to Medieval Ages is not that bad either, as far as the bosses are concerned. Oh yeah, pump action shotgun. But we want to save the pump action for actually stronger enemies. I mean, I'm just one shot killing these zombies with a sword, might as well stick with it, right? Although, I didn't upgrade the capacity, so I can't carry that much ammunition anyway. Now, I know what the shield boy was trying to do, but it was not pleasant and did not work. Sucks to be you, buddy. I... I, 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 wow, I just blocked uh, Succubus's fireball just now with my sword by swinging it. Sword is overpowered. I love it. Didn't block that though, unfortunately. As it turns out, putting five of my skill points only into melee was a great investment after all. Who would have thought, right? We found the end fairly quickly, so I figured I might as well go back here and see if there's anything I missed. Which seems to be a lot of things. Maybe that was just an alternate path to the same ending? It's very strange. The Deadlands. Spooky name. Let's see how dead these lands are, am I right? Oh, god damn it. Okay, so what is shooting at me without me being able to see it? It's probably that. Fucking really? Mate? Are you are you fucking with me right now? There we go. Can't open that. Can't open this though. The barman spell is now available in the workshop. Very pog. Now I can be a word that starts with T that I'm pretty sure is against Twitch's terms of service to say on stream. Where to now, Kimosabe? That one's not opening. That's locked as well. That's the back the way we came. Was this all just sit really? Oh, wait, no, this is a secret. Okay, I was gonna say. I was wondering why I was able to access that just now. 
Okay, here we go. Sword is way up. I love this sword. I love sword. Where's the entrance to this now? Right around the corner. Here we go. The pillar hath descended. Question is, where did the pillar hath descend? Over there, perhaps? But how do I get over there? It's times like these that you just want to vault over stuff. Fuck the police. There we go. I think I'm starting to see why this made the host dizzy the last time we played together. Not unlike VR sickness. Hypnogram, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? We're having a very impromptu stream. I'm trying to finish this entire this uh series of levels before as quickly as possible because it's really late and I'm not supposed to be up. I'm not supposed to be streaming for a while either, but here we are. Hello. Hello, hello. Shino Uchi? Oh no. This must be the weeb level. Even the music sounds appropriately weebish. I don't know what just happened, but it was very pleasant. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Awesome. That shall go my cringe compilation. How are you doing this evening, Hypno? With regret. Oh shit. I took an accidental nap, so pretty feeling pretty good. Now that's a mood. Looks like I'll be joining you soon as well. Except it won't be a nap, it'll be a long rest. I'll regain all my spell slots for tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta say though, I am struggling to stay awake. But hey, I said that we're going to try and finish this whole thing and the boss before we go to bed. So now I have to do it. We're going pretty fast, even with all the deaths, to be honest.
What is missing? The exit's right there. God. Here it is. An honest to god maze? Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Thank god for the mini map. Can you imagine trying to be through, get through this thing without it? I can imagine it, and I just don't want to. I'm not even looking at it right now, because I'm just trying to get this free stuff. All this treasure. never seen this before, but I dig the vibe of this game so far. It's called Project Warlock. It's a Doom clone. Combine a... It's a Doom clone. An indie game as well. The developers have recently are, re are currently developing Project Warlock 2. Which is basically also going to be... It's going to be more of a Quake clone than a Doom clone. Or at least Quake era models are one of the options. You can actually seamless, you could seemingly, you could seamlessly switch it between 2D and 3D modes at will. At least that's what they plan to do for it. Right now, only 2D mode is uh, currently on there, as far as I could tell. When it gets late in the evening, I just start to zone out. I just like start, I'll be like playing and then my brain will turn off and you'll just see me stop. It's like, it's almost like watching a computer just sort of enter standby mode after it's been untouched for a while. Apparently this is also a symptom of sleep deprivation. What does that say about me? I still can't believe this sword can actually reflect bullets from people. Oh my god, it couldn't reflect that though. Oh my god. I need to hurry. I'm really starting to lose it. I'm straight up Falling asleep. It doesn't look like it, but I I am straight. I am starting to. I'm starting to. I'm starting to lose the chat. But we must beat the game. Now where the hell is the exit? It is very late, and you've been stressed. That is true. Rest is important. Rest is very important. For artificial intelligences and fleshy meat bags, all the same. My god. I don't- I think my brain's too fried for this. I'm trying to solve a fucking maze. <laughs> I'm backtracked to this location how many times now? Oh, there we go. Finally. Entering workshop? Oh my god, we made it chat somehow. We only got one upgrade point though, that's not hog. Let's put more life for more into life.
only got two more. We only got one more stage. One more stage, chat. And then here is the boss. It's 2.26 in the morning. Can we do it? Can we beat this whole level before I, you know, bad shit happens? I haven't even taken the melatonin yet. It's getting harder to speak in character with my level of sleep depriva deprivation, <laughs> to be honest. Which is kind of a dumb moment, but, you know. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, they're dead. Oh dear. Well, that's the flare gun for you, chap. Ooh. We got the Uzi. We're gonna save the Uzi, though, for the boss. We've gone this far just using the longsword. Why stop? Am I right? The question I have for the demons infesting these places, why are there just random guns lying around in medieval ages? You know? Like, why did I just pick up a literal an Uzi just now? God. All right. I'm not even trying to speed run the game. I'm literally just trying to speed run. I'm trying to outspeed my own uh, dwindling grip over my sobriety. <laughs> I guess it's not the worst challenge, really. Oh my god. S -s fucking stop. Jesus Christ, you tricky bastards. Well, that was exhilarating. Okay, that was that was pretty cool. I I really I really like the long sword. <laughs> the long sword is just based based as all hell. I love how it knocks it knocks away the explosive barrels, which then ignite and then explode away from you, so you don't get caught in the explosion. That's so cool. Were we out of this level? The courtyard. Okay. Oh dear. Oh man. Dies in one hit. Eat shit, sucker. Lulz, are you trying to go for a melee only run? No, that longsword's literally just that good. This music is an interesting choice. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. They just sort of flew into the explosive barrel and then died. You know, just a perfectly normal, normal thing.
All right, game. Come on. I'm half asleep right now. I need... Just let me progress, please. All right, I'm seriously getting too tired of this. I'm tired for this. I need to, I need to progress. Did I miss a key somewhere? Really? Come on, little bastard. I know you're around here somewhere. Okay, okay, I, I must be, I am sleep. I am definitely tired because it was sitting there this whole time and I didn't even notice, I literally, walked ran past it a few times now that's pretty that's pretty bad <laughs> yeah, it was all caught in camera too now on candid camera Local femboy enjoy our local local femboy AI attempts to speed run in the Doom clone while half asleep. Held together but nothing but black current tea. We are just here. <sighs> I swear if the purple key is hiding in plain sight, and I'm just too sleepy to figure out where it is. I'm gonna morb. All right, here it is, thank God. Let's get out of this level, please, 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 please. There it goes again, chat. I, my brain just kind of turns off and I just kind of spiral into nothingness. Oh my fucking god, there we go. Okay, this should be the last part of the castle, I think. It looks familiar anyway. Bruh, if I fucking die, I'm gonna be angry.
There it goes again. Level up. Oh my goodness. Gang's all here. Hello to you too. Ah, <sighs> come on game. Interesting. Wonder what that's for. Apparently, we just came through here. I think we're getting close to the end, which is good because I I cannot continue playing this game. I'm starting to fall asleep in my like in front of the computer. <laughs> Come on game, just let me exit, please. Let give me the give me the exit, please. Come on. Hold out a little bit longer. Come on. Oh my god. No. No. It has another level. On the battlements, no less. I don't want to die. Oh my god. No 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 Fucking really? We are too close to in this whole section of maps to stop now. So I think we're going to keep playing until we beat the boss. And believe me, we will beat that boss. Oh look, a key. Hear something. Oh, 
Must have just been the wind. Flare gun works pretty well after all. Oh, that was a dumb move on my part. I don't know why I did that. I'm tired. <laughs> the nice thing about being sleepy is you could use it as an excuse for pretty much everything. I really love the longsword. Jesus. I don't even know if you can upgrade this thing, but if you can, oh my god. Chef's kiss. So there's the exit right there. Is this not the exit? So it is, but there are just enemies guarding it. Awesome. Chat, we finally made it. This is the this is the boss of this gym. I can't believe we actually managed to stay awake long enough to get this far. A shame we don't have more upgrade points. Let's save him. students so we can get more pro so we can get more stat points quicker especially at this early level here you go chat the boss of this gym at last it's ought to be fun What the shit is that? Oh, hi there. Actually, now that I remember, wasn't this boss fairly difficult to fight in the second form? Oh, oh yes, yes he was. Oh shit. Well, I'm dead. Let's try it again. So it looks like fighting him head-on was not the play. Thankfully, we got plenty of things to kill him with. Oh, we have a lot of trash to deal with too, it looks seems like. Good thing we got the SMG after all. However, we need to actually start doing some damage or he, these things are just going to keep spawning. Circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe. Well, that was quick. Damn. He's already on second form. Who'd have thought? I'm kind of surprised, actually. I thought that sort of thing would have taken longer, you know? Let's try using the flare gun. The flare gun, it does nothing. I'm somehow not surprised. Great for killing the mobs, though.
Oh no, he has a third form. I totally forgot about that. I am so boned, chat. Wait, what the shit? Why was I dying? I wasn't even taking... Weird. Alright, third time's a charm. We'll do it, chat. We will do it tonight. You know what they say. He shouldn't have skipped leg day. Storm Rage spell is now in the workshop? Is that just- did I just like learn it randomly or did I happen to pick it up somewhere? I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> health, I need health. Need health. Yes. Don't fucking stun lock me, you bitch. You actual cocksuckers. Uh, try this one. So he turns into this big chonky motherfucker and it looks like he kind of zooms into you and shit. I was wondering what was killing me. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with that because it's been a while since I last played this. I'm going to assume that maybe I, if I'm careful, I can actually, I actually can just get him stuck on the wall or get him stuck on the on the buildings. Did I really just- God damn it. Oh, I forgot I had a crossbow. That's kind of important. Oh, man. Moments before disaster, am I right? Maybe I shouldn't get so close. Need more healing items. Or for war. Somehow, I don't think I'm gonna get any, though. Oh, there we go. 50. 106. Alright. Second form, go. Let's go. More shotgun shells. Cool. Need health, need health, need health. Somewhere. There's health. Running out of ammunition there. Alright, he's pissed. Now we see if we can... Can we seriously do enough damage to this thing to kill it? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm starting to get frustrated now. <laughs> I'm legitimately curious if I can even if I actually can actually can kill this guy.
Because I have a feeling I was actually not playing on hard mode before. I was probably playing on standard. Yeah. That was nasty. Am I dynamites missing? Probably. This is a terrible throwing weapon. <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish, I guess. Oh my god. I'm actively- am I actively doing worse? Probably. It's one of those situations where you have- it's basically sunk fa- sunk fa- sunk- sunk false? Kelsey? I can't speak anymore. Sunk cal calcium. Sunk calcium fallacy. of these them Jesus Christ At least I know it's actually hitting him. Health, 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 health. More health. Is there any more health? I need more health. Not that. Need health. Shotgun shells. Bunch of shields all over the place. Oh, that's just great.
Can you please fuck off? Jesus Christ. I don't know how to kill that thing, chat. I feel like I don't do enough damage to it. Like, straight up. And I don't have enough upgrade points either to buy more stuff. Oh. Can I remove these perks and select something else? Are those permanent? It says upgrade points available, but I don't think I could. Well, that might have been might have been useful. I don't even know if I can beat this thing now. in here would have been nice for a now you know let's try one more time ah Kemia Howdy, thank you so much for the hydration redeem. You caught me near the end of the stream. I'm just trying to beat this boss so I can call it a night. And it's about going about as well as you might imagine. How are you doing this evening? Doing pretty good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. Decided to decide that before this self retires, I play do one last stream before the festivities this coming Halloween. It seems to be going pretty well. There's actually quite a few people. There's actually quite a few people who stop by to say hello and stuff. I'm very blessed. Now it would be nice if we could end the stream by beating this boss. But unfortunately, I'm not that confident. So I actually don't remember how to defeat its third form. But eh, at least we got this far, right? I think we got so much ammunition too. Yep, 
Is this thing even hurting him? I can't tell. Honestly. Ow. Why did I die? Uh, I guess that's the question that everyone asks, right? Why am I dead? But before they ask that, they should be asking, did they ever really live? I like that he's destroying his own troops on accident by shooting that rain of fire type thing. Oh my god. Do fuck off, please. Thank you. Where are you? Oh, he's he's stuck in the wall. <laughs> yes, please, just just stay there. Oh my god, this game is so jank. Sometimes, okay, I get it, I get it. I'm not supposed to just stand there and wail on him. That's not what you're supposed to do. But it still would have been convenient right about now, you know. Here it is. I think that's the last health thing, Majigger. Thing, Gummy, what? Come on. I want to end the stream on a good note. Oh man, he is pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. look this up really quick. I feel like I'm missing something. Like there should be a specific way to kill the, for the very first boss of this game. I'm getting filtered hard. But it could just be that I'm not doing enough DPS, not doing enough, not doing enough damage. You can edit the save file to refund your upgrade points, so that's a dick move. The first boss is one of the toughest. Honestly, once you beat the first boss, I'm usually able to snowball through the rest. But the first boss can be a jerk, with a laser beam that can one-shot you and a falling carpet bomb that easily oof you. Yes, that's... I'm aware, but how do I deal with the third form? I'm starting to wonder if maybe they're, this game is just not big enough to have something like that. That's probably the case, honestly.
dodge. What the fuck do you mean dodge? Am I missing something? Wasn't I running this whole time? Running before? That's weird. I thought I was. Pretty sure I was running the whole time, actually. And I'm pretty sure you can't outrun this guy, but... Alright. And again, just like the other, just like the other Deem games, you do move a lot faster when you're going sidestep. When you're sidestepping. So, maybe... Maybe I wasn't actually running. Okay, I need to stop getting so close. Nothing like almost getting myself killed. It does feel like I'm moving faster now for some reason. I'm literally out, out running everyone. When earlier I could have sworn they were like catching up immediately. Yeah, no, there's got this this is way different. I don't remember I could have sworn they were catching up with me a lot a lot quicker earlier. So who knows? Vaporize his own scaly boy. Please continue doing that. That's the ammunition I need to waste on them. Man, my accuracy is terrible. Wonky ass hitboxes. Or collision boxes, I should say. Alright, let's do this. Okay, the game is like. The guy that I found online says dodge, but how the fuck do you dodge this? Apparently the first boss used to be harder th than this at one point. And this was from 2021? That wasn't that long ago.
so you're definitely running here now, as opposed to here. That should have been a default from the beginning, honestly. Alright, let's try this again. I'm almost wondering if I'm supposed to be using the supposed to be getting him stuck on the buildings. Because he moves faster than you. His attack is unblockable. The solution to that should therefore to be to use the wall use the environment against him, right? And then there's that. The just rain from the mana from heaven, so to speak. Yeah, there's no way. I don't know how I was able to play this without running mode for the first few tries because this is insane. But with running mode, you're definitely running at least fast enough to outpace his mooks. Which is quite helpful. Ow. I love how muted the music, the boss music is. It's not like something exciting. It's just your generic run-of-the-mill uh, retro music, I guess. Can you fucking die? Jesus. Okay. What the fuck is that splash damage? Christ almighty. Alright. Before we continue fighting him, let's go get some health. Assuming there's any health left to be found. This desolate landscape. Jesus. Looks like there was plenty of health left to acquire in this desolate landscape. Go figure. Oh, are you shitting me? You changed the timing. What the fuck? My god. Alright. There we go. Come on, big boy. Come on. Where are you? Oh my god. He teleported. Are you shitting me right now? Can I change the difficulty level of this game back down? Because this is fucking stupid. Like, I don't think I have the build necessary to kill that. As far as I can tell from the... What little I've found online... About how to deal with the first boss. The official wiki barely has a hundred entries in it.
No upgrade points. <sighs> yeah, man. I don't think I can do enough damage to this thing to actually kill it. I might have to actually grind some of the previous stages just to get enough, get enough experience to get more upgrade points just so I can increase my stats so I can actually beat it and we are out of time. It's way past three now. So as much as I love to there's definitely no way we're gonna be able to this boss unless Did I kill all the mooks? You know what? The flare gun's sadly satisfying. Even if it doesn't do as much damage as the magnum. So I guess that's all that matters, really. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is he stopping after a certain point? It's the one la my last attempt, I swear, because it is well and truly late at this point. This is fucking stupid. Uh, let's just call it what it is, chat. This is not good. Not an example of good difficulty scaling. This is meant to be fucking annoying. And also, unfortunately, when you have any time you have games like this where you get to choose your perks, at the end of the day, some of these things just aren't as good as others. If I had gone with pure DPS from the beginning, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> But I did say before that we are out of time. I have a place to go and people to see. Which is that cool one-liner that they like to see at the end of movies, but... One of these things is true and the other is probably not. So once again, I want to like to thank everyone for stopping by. It's been a pleasure to serve as your host. For the LOL's time show, I'm sure my siblings will do just as fine, and I, well, we look forward to seeing you all here again soon, sometime at the end of the month, I'm sure. Hey Sprite, welcome to the stream, didn't see you there, um, welcome to the LOL's time show. For any other uh, lurkers who may be in chat, if you 
are interested are interested in my content feel free to drop me a follow i'm sure the rest of my siblings would greatly appreciate it we mostly play indie games and fighting games let's go ahead and find someone to raid we haven't raided anyone in a long time who's on who's awake at this hour Surprisingly, a few people are, actually. Prince Slime is playing Signalus. I've been meaning to play that eventually. I can't stick around too long or I'll spoil myself. Well, let's go ahead and visit them, shall we? Give him a whole a good old... Uh, Lul's Raid. Alright, everyone. Have a good night. Love ya. Till we meet again. Thank you.